Mechanisms of Aldicar Poisoning Cholinesterase Inhibitors Part 1. What is Aldicarb? Aldicarb is a pesticide, also called an insecticide, used to kill insects and worms that attack certain crops. It is principally used on cotton, citrus, peanuts, and potatoes. It belongs to the carbamate group of insecticides. Mechanism of carbamates Short-term inhibition of the enzyme cholinesterase Acute effects Aldicarb has severe acute effects caused by inhibiting the enzyme cholinesterase. A dose of 0.5 mg is lethal in rodents. 2.5 mg is a lethal dose after skin contact. Syndrome or symptom pattern related to inhibition of cholinesterase may occur very rapidly, within a few minutes of ingestion. Interval between symptoms and exposure is usually longer after skin exposure. There are two types of cholinesterase inhibitors, organophosphates and carbamates. Organophosphates cause inhibition of cholinesterase that lasts for days or weeks. Carbamates cause inhibition that lasts only one or two days. And consequently, carbamates are not associated with chronic health problems. There is a wide variation in the potency, the amount of material required to cause poisoning, for both groups of compounds. However, in acute illness, the pattern of symptoms is exactly the same for both carbamates and organophosphates. Part 2 Understanding the mechanism of poisoning. Normal function. The brain sends signals for control of voluntary activities and normal functioning of physiologic activities. These signals travel by means of cells called neurons. What are neurons? Neurons are nerve cells that transmit the signals from the brain. Neurons transmit signals on their long branches produced by chemical stimulation in the junction between two nerve cells or between a nerve and a muscle. Chemical signals in a nerve junction. Electrical impulse wave in a nerve branch. How does the nerve signal work? For a signal to pass from one nerve to another, a chemical signal is required. Very often this chemical is a substance called acetylcholine. The signal is terminated when an enzyme, a protein catalyst called cholinesterase, breaks down acetylcholine in the junction between two nerves. Left, packets of acetylcholine in the junction between two nerves. Right, action of cholinesterase. Normal communication between neurons. When nerves function normally, acetylcholine sends interrupted signals, similar to a telegraph key. The normal interrupted signals requires the activity of the enzyme cholinesterase. What is the mechanism of poisoning? When the active site of the enzyme is occupied by an inhibitor, cholinesterase no longer functions. The signals between neurons are sent in a continuous manner without interruptions because of the accumulation of acetylcholine in the junction between nerves. Muscarinic syndrome, constriction of the pupils, excessive salivation, slowing of the heart rate, excessive lung secretions, narrowing of airways, excessive intestinal secretions, intestinal cramps, excessive urination, excessive sweating. When there are continuous signals in the nerves from failure of choline estuaries to break down acetylcholine, Multiple symptoms can occur. Three different groups of symptoms can occur. Each group of symptoms is known as a syndrome or symptom pattern. Three syndromes. Poisoning with aldicarb can cause three syndromes. Muscarinic affects control of the bodily functions. Nicotinic affects control of skeletal muscles and secretion of adrenaline. Central nervous system. Muscarinic syndrome. Affected part. Eyes. Common symptoms and physical signs. Blurry vision. Difficulty focusing. 
constricted pupils that do not react to light. Lungs, excess secretions in the airways, airway constriction, pain in the chest, difficulty breathing, digestive tract, colic or cramping, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, heart, slowing of heart rate, heart block, bladder, loss of control, skin, excessive sweating, nicotinic syndrome, affected part, Autonomic nervous system, body physiology, common symptoms and physical signs, stimulation of adrenaline glands and secretion of adrenaline, tachycardia and symptoms of aggression and nerves, musculoskeletal system, cramping, muscular weakness, failure of control of voluntary movements, paralysis, central nervous system syndrome, affected part, central nervous system, common symptoms and physical signs anxiety headache confusion convulsion coma respiratory failure irritability drowsiness receptors muscarinic nicotinic memory device dumbbells muscarinic symptoms are so characteristic when clearly present that it becomes very probable that the person has been exposed to an insecticide containing a cholinesterase inhibitor, either a carbamate or organophosphate, diarrhea, urination, loss of control, meiosis, bradycardia, excessive airway secretions, lacrimation, salivation, sweating. What do I do if I notice dumbbells? If you suspect poisoning, if possible, have information from the pesticide label to share with the treating medical provider. If the person is awake, not having convulsions, and is responding to questions, name, day of the week, etc., call poison control or take the person to the hospital. The affected person should not drive to get medical treatment. If the affected person is gravely ill, call 911. Evaluation it is possible to confirm poisoning by noting the typical cholinesterase syndrome, above all with acute poisoning, by noting the typical effect of the antidote atropine in controlling or reducing muscarinic symptoms. In the case described, the respiratory problems in the three-year-old girl markedly improve after administration of atropine by analysis of cholinesterase in the bloodlines by analysis of metabolites of organophosphates or carbamate in the urine analysis of visit is in the environment on clothing or in the stomach in case of ingestion treatment remove the affected person from the environment where the exposure to a carbamate organophosphate may have occurred decontaminate the skin in case of ingestion decontaminate the stomach with a nasogastric tube Hospital treatment. Use of specific antidotes in very severe cases that require hospitalization. Atropine for muscarinic symptoms. The other antidote, prolidoxime, works by eliminating the cholinesterase inhibition at the chemical level. Recovery. After poisoning, it is necessary to wait an adequate amount of time to resume normal activities. To return to work where there may be additional exposure to cholinesterase inhibitors, especially make seen or spraying insecticides, it is recommended to make sure that the cholinesterase has returned to normal prior to resuming work. In addition, one must feel well without dizziness, headache, or difficulty concentrating. For carbamates, recovery may be only one or two. For organophosphates, symptomatic recovery may take a week or two or even a month. Normalization of cholinesterase may take up to three months. Review. The organophosphates and carbamates cause illness by inhibiting the enzyme cholinesterase. Both cause overstimulation of the nervous system. Poisoning cases are recognized by the characteristic pattern of the symptoms. This is the first step in treatment and also the first step in preventing additional cases of contact with the carbamates and organophosphates. Discussion. How are cases related to pesticides or violations of proper application procedures reported? Reporting of cases. Reporting of illnesses. 
Report by the doctors treating the affected cases. Contact the Agricultural Commissioner in each county. State Offices for Reporting Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment Sacramento Telephone 916-327-7319 Sacramento Fax 916-327-7319 Two zero, Oakland Telephone, five one zero six two two three one seven zero, Department of Pesticide Regulation, Worker Safety Branch, Telephone, nine one six four four five four two two two, Fax, nine one six four four five four two eight zero, California Poison Control System, Telephone. 800-222-1222